But I, I just had the pleasure of talking about multi-factor authentication here at the eCrime Wales. And the reason why I guess you guys asked me to come over and talk about multi-factor authentication is because it's very, very, very important. And the reason why it's important is that multi-factor authentication is all about ensuring that the person who's accessing your systems and your data is who he claims to be. And while we are presenting and distributing more and more information all around the world and we are putting it out there on the internet, the need for multi-factor authentication is growing rapidly. The biggest kind of crime in the world is identity theft. Huh? So what we basically is, is ensuring is that the person who logs on is who he claims to be. And the way we do it is that a username and password is no longer enough. The reason why a username and password is no longer enough is that there's so many different methods and tools that the bad guys are using to steal your username and password. And there's a lot of these methods that you will never recognize uh, being put into action against you. So you might have lost your username and password without knowing it. So therefore you need something extra to ensure it's only you who can log on. And the reason is that a username and password is stuff that you know. That's one factor. Everything you know, username, password, pin codes, extra passcodes, all of that is only one factor. Therefore you need an additional factor. Actually you need a bunch of additional factors. That's why it's nowadays called multi-factor authentication. It used to be called uh, two-factor authentication. SMS Passcode, which I represent, is such a multi-factor authentication system. And the way it works is essentially that when you type in your username and password, you will receive a text message on your mobile phone. And that text, text message includes a passcode. And once you type in that passcode, we know it's you. And we know it's you because you're the only one in the world having that mobile phone number. But then, so, then there's a bunch of magic happening underneath so that we ensure that that particular text message can only be entered in through the same laptop or a device that originally logged on to the system. In some cases, we can see where you log on from and uh, which country you come from and what organization you, you are logging on from. But the basics of it is to ensure that the person who logs in is who he claims to be. That's what Multifact all is all about. And this is an extremely fast-growing market. And, uh, and there's good reasons for that. It's because more and more companies, even smaller companies nowadays, provide email access to the company emails or they have remote desktop solutions so they can go into the application from remote. And, and what we see is that historically, uh, these kinds of solutions have belonged into the, you can say, the upper enterprises, large enterprises. But now, nowadays we see a huge adoption of, uh, of our solution to small and medium uh, businesses as, as, as well. And the reason is that we have basically, we have just created a solution that is very, very easy, straightforward to implement, very easy to maintain. So, so you, you can see the needed skill set, the needed skill set you need to be able to maintain and update and install these kind of solutions becomes easier and easier. And I think, I think the key to our success is actually making that balance about making it possible for businesses to increase the level of security without increasing the level of hassle and without you having to go to school for tens of years to, to learn and install the solution. And, and you can say one of the points I think in my in presentation was as well that if it becomes too complicated really, or it's too cumberstone, or if you have too many dependencies, as I said, the solution will eventually not work. Uh, the school I come from, one of the first pages you read in the, one of the first books you get says that the more dependencies that your system has on other systems, the more likely it is that your system will not work. So one of the, I think, the main drivers is that you was, you have to get rid of dependencies. For example, getting rid of the dependency on something special being present somewhere, or being dependent on people having the right sets of skills. And um, and I think the the key to our success is is basically that balance that we can get rid of the dependencies and at the same time actually increasing the level of security significantly. That was what it all was all about. <laughs>